Penny Mordaunt's vote, we don't know where that's going to go yet either, do we? So that's another feature. Yes, so it, it's it, a lot of things are still all up in the air. There's still a lot to play for, despite this, all this polling coming out where kind of conventional wisdom is that Liz Truss is just going to basically walk this competition. I still think somewhere in my gut there's a feeling that People may stick with Rishi because, as you said, he sounds like he knows what he's talking about. He comes across a little bit more prime ministerial, I think, and I think he kind of gets the issue. But like you said, he does take this long-term view. And I think there's a lot of people in the country right now who need the immediate help. And Liz Truss seems to be offering something a little bit different. And sometimes different is often appealing if you're if you're the one that's struggling the most. Is, is there a problem with the fact that... that uh, Rishi presents it as a sort of fait accompli, if you like. This is This is absolutely what has to be done. I mean, our very own Liam Halligan was saying a few days ago on his show, well, look, if you, if you cut taxes, you can stimulate the economy, yeah. you stimulate growth, which is obviously yeah. going to help everybody ultimately. So, yeah. I mean, it, 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 it's not, it's not black and white. No, it's, it's definitely not. And it's what's really interesting is there's two very different economic paths being presented to the, to the party members right now. And it's, it'd be, I do think the, the party would tend to look to more, more towards tax cuts because it's a much more conservative kind of principle. What Rishi's offering it doesn't really sit very well with a lot of, uh, say, the old school conservative members. But it will be fascinating to see how this campaign uh, unfolds because, as we're starting to see, they're starting to kind of snipe at each other a little mm. bit more. They're really starting to go at each other. Uh, but they're doing it around policy at the minute, But so that's not too bad. But I do think uh, this, this tax issue, it's not going away for either campaign. And Rishi, I think, does sound a little bit more confident in the interviews. And like I said, he sounds like he knows what he's talking about. But this time the vote isn't um, taken by MPs. Mm. This time it's about the people. But they're, I mean, they're conservative yeah. people, but they are people. Uh, and there are a lot more of them. And uh, time and again, when they phone into this programme, they are talking about Rishi isn't a proper conservative chancellor. Mm. He's not a conservative in the way that they would like. Um, yeah. And, so, and maybe Liz Truss is more so, and that's going to be another big question, isn't oh, it? Oh, this is one of Rishi's biggest problems, is that he's not seen as, as a Conservative. It's, it's one of those arguments I'm not a particularly big fan of, because there's lots of different types of Conservatives. Mm. Uh, but like I said, to the kind of the, the party faithful, they, they, they want a kind of uh, high-growth, low-tax, kind of small-state kind of uh, Prime Minister. And Rishi, as it, during his time as Chancellor, he's not really offered that. He's offered something a little bit different. And him, he's got really that ma massive hurdle to get over. And it's one of the reasons he's, he's struggling so much with the membership.